John William Strutt, third Baron Rayleigh, the 12th of November 1842 to the 30th of June 1919, was a British scientist who made extensive contributions to both theoretical and experimental physics. He spent all of his academic career at the University of Cambridge. Among many honors, he received the 1904 Nobel Prize in Physics for his investigations of the densities of the most important gases and for his discovery of argon in connection with these studies. He served as President of the Royal Society from 1905 to 1908 and as Chancellor of the University of Cambridge from 1908 to 1919. Rayleigh provided the first theoretical treatment of the elastic scattering of light by particles much smaller than the light's wavelength, a phenomenon now known as Rayleigh scattering, which notably explains why the sky is blue. He studied and described transverse surface waves in solids, now known as Rayleigh waves. He contributed extensively to fluid dynamics, with concepts such as the Rayleigh number a dimensionless number associated with natural convection, Rayleigh flow, the Rayleigh-Taylor instability, and Rayleigh's criterion for the stability of Taylor-Coet flow. He also formulated the circulation theory of aerodynamic lift. In optics, Rayleigh proposed a well-known criterion for angular resolution. His derivation of the Rayleigh genes law for classical black body radiation later played an important role in birth of quantum mechanics. See ultraviolet catastrophe. Rayleigh's textbook The Theory of Sound 1877 is still used today by acousticians and engineers. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biography. Strutt was born on the 12th of November 1842 at Langford Grove in Malden, Essex. In his early years he suffered from frailty and poor health. He attended Eton College and Harrow School each for only a short period, before going on to the University of Cambridge in 1861 where he studied mathematics at Trinity College, Cambridge. He obtained a Bachelor of Arts degree Senior Wrangler and First Smith's Prize in 1865, and a Master of Arts in 1868. He was subsequently elected to a Fellowship of Trinity. He held the post until his marriage to Evelyn Balfour, daughter of James Maitland Balfour, in 1871. He had three sons with her. In 1873, on the death of his father, John Strutt, 2nd Baron Rayleigh, he inherited the barony of Rayleigh. He was the second Cavendish Professor of Physics at the University of Cambridge, following James Clerk Maxwell, from 1879 to 1884. He first described dynamic soaring by seabirds in 1883, in the British journal Nature. From 1887 to 1905 he was Professor of Natural Philosophy at the Royal Institution. Around the year 1900 Rayleigh developed the duplex combination of two theory of human sound localization using two binaural cues, interaural phase difference IPD and interaural level difference ILD based on analysis of a spherical head with no external pinnae. The theory posits that we use two primary cues for sound lateralization, using the difference in the phases of sinusoidal components of the sound and the difference in amplitude level between the two ears. In 1919, Rayleigh served as president of the Society for Psychical Research. As an advocate that simplicity and theory be part of the scientific method, Rayleigh argued for the principle of similitude. Rayleigh was elected Fellow of the Royal Society on 12 June 1873, and served as President of the Royal Society from 1905 to 1908. From time to time Rayleigh participated in the House of Lords, however, he spoke up only if politics attempted to become involved in science. He died on 30 June 1919, in Witham, Essex. He was succeeded, as the fourth Lord Rayleigh, by his son Robert John Strutt, another well-known physicist. Lord Rayleigh was buried in the graveyard of All Saints Church in Turling in Essex. The rail unit of acoustic impedance is named after him. <inaudible> <inaudible> religious views Rayleigh was an Anglican. Though he did not write about the relationship of science and religion, he retained a personal interest in spiritual matters. When his scientific papers were to be published in a collection by the Cambridge University Press, Strutt wanted to include a religious quotation from the Bible, but he was discouraged from doing so, as he later reported, When I was bringing out my scientific papers I proposed a motto from the Psalms, The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. 
The secretary to the press suggested with many apologies that the reader might suppose that I was the Lord. Still, he had his wish and the quotation was printed in the five-volume collection of scientific papers. In a letter to a family member, he wrote about his rejection of materialism and spoke of Jesus Christ as a moral teacher. I have never thought the materialist view possible, and I look to a power beyond what we see, and to a life in which we may at least hope to take part. What is more, I think that Christ and indeed other spiritually gifted men see further and truer than I do, and I wish to follow them as far as I can. He held an interest in parapsychology and was an early member of the Society for Psychical Research SPR. He was not convinced of spiritualism but remained open to the possibility of supernatural phenomena. Rayleigh was the president of the SPR in 1919. He gave a presidential address the year of his death but did not come to any definite conclusions. Topic. Honors and awards The lunar crater Rayleigh as well as the Martian crater Rayleigh were named in his honor. The asteroid 22740 Rayleigh was named after him on 1 June 2007. A type of surface waves are known as Rayleigh waves. The rail, a unit of specific acoustic impedance, is also named for him. Rayleigh was also awarded with, in chronological order, Smith's Prize, 1864, Royal Medal, 1882, Matucci Medal, 1894, Member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, 1897, Copley Medal, 1899. Nobel Prize for Physics 1904 Elliott Cresson Medal 1913 Rumford Medal 1914 Lord Rayleigh was among the original recipients of the Order of Merit in the 1902 Coronation Honours List published on 26 June 1902, and received the order from King Edward VII at Buckingham Palace on 8 August 1902. He received the degree of Doctor Mathematicae Honoris Causa from the Royal Frederick University on 6 September 1902, when they celebrated the centennial of the birth of mathematician Niels Henrik Abel, Sir William Ramsay, his co-worker in the investigation to discover Argonne described Rayleigh as the greatest man alive. While speaking to Lady Ramsay during his last illness, H. M. Hindman said of Rayleigh that, no man ever showed less consciousness of great genius. Bibliography The Theory of Sound Volume 1 London, Macmillan, 1877, 1894 Alternative link, Bibliothèque Nationale de France O.R. Cambridge, University Press, reissued 2011, ISBN 978-1-108-03220-9 The Theory of Sound Volume 2 London, Macmillan, 1878, 1896 Alternative link, Bibliothèque Nationale de France O.R. Cambridge, University Press, reissued 2011, ISBN 978-1-108-03221-6 Scientific Papers Volume 1 to 1869-1881 Cambridge, University Press, 1899-1920, reissued by the publisher 2011, ISBN 978-0-511-70396-6 Scientific Papers Volume 2 to 1881-1887 Cambridge University Press 1899 to 1920 reissued by the publisher 2011 ISBN 9780511703973 Scientific Papers Volume 3 to 1887 minus 1892 Cambridge University Press 1899 to 1920 reissued by the publisher 2011 ISBN 9780511703980 Scientific Papers Volume 4 to 1892 minus 1901 Cambridge University Press 1899 to 1920 reissued by the publisher 2011 ISBN 9780511703997 Scientific Papers Volume 5 to 1902 minus 1910 Cambridge University Press 1899 to 1920 reissued by the publisher 2011 ISBN 9780511704000 
Scientific Papers, Volume 6 to 1911-1919, Cambridge, University Press, 1899 to 1920, reissued by the publisher 2011, ISBN 9780511704017. Topic. See also. Topic. References. Topic. External links. About John William Strutt. O'Connor, John J. Robertson, Edmund F. John William Strutt, Third Baron Rayleigh. MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of Saint Andrews. Lord Rayleigh, The Last of the Great Victorian Polymaths, GEC Review, Vol. 7, No. 3, 1992 Works by or about John William Strutt, 3rd Baron Rayleigh at Internet Archive